Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to install Half-Life Opposing Force and or Half-Life Blue Shift on your Oculus Quest device. This could be Quest 1, I'll be doing it on Quest 2, it could be a potential future Quest device as well. This video is not condoning piracy, it is for educational purposes. I own the games that I will be you know, copying over later on in this video. Plus, make sure you have set up Lambda 1 VR already, which allows you to play the original Half-Life on your Oculus Quest device, because this is going to be building on top of that. So this is for Linux. I've got videos covering this on Mac and Windows, and I've got videos covering how to just set up Lambda 1 VR on Mac, Linux, and Windows as well. So you want to make sure you've got side quest set up. I'll cover that in you know those videos as well. But you gotta make sure you got that set up. I want to say it's not 100% requirement, but it helps. So first of all, you need to actually get hold of the Half-Life Opposing Force or Half-Life Blue Shift game. Feel free to get hold of it any way that you know you want to, but I've done it via Steam. And so if I do Steam, go to here. And it is supported, where is it, there we go, it is supported on Linux so you can directly download it, you don't need to do some sort of hacky command for it like you do need to do with some other games. So if you just scroll down, if you've already got purchase, great, if not you can purchase it, Half-Life Blue Ship, click the install button, that would be here, basically that button there. And then Half-Life Opposing Force, click that one as well. So you need Blue Shift and Opposing Force. Once that's downloaded, you need to locate the folder. And that is on, if you go to Home, scroll down, go to dot .steam, scroll down, and go to Steam Apps, Common, Half-Life, and it's within the Half-Life folder because they were expansions. So we need the B-Shift and the Gearbox folders. So to grab them or to copy them over, pretty simple. Connect your headset up, which I have done. It's saying warning, no permission, ADB, you dev rules missing. If you get something like that or some other error, chances are you just need to put your headset on, which I've just done. And let me just turn my controller on. Asking to allow access to data, fantastic. And now it's uh, asking to allow USB debugging. I've allowed that. And there we go. So now that we've got this, you can either copy the file that you need via this section here, go to XASH and copy them over, or you can literally just do it in here like so i mean even method is valid and i closed down what i actually needed didn't i so it's here so if i just open up a new window any method is fine it's totally up to you and i'm going to go to quest internal storage xash and copy over b shift shouldn't take long so let's copy that over. Once that's done, we'll copy over Gearbox as well. Let us a few more seconds to go, saying five seconds. It's gonna have to speed up if it's gonna do in five seconds. We're barely a third of the way, not even a third of the way through in terms of just file count. But I feel like some of the other files will be larger files or maybe smaller files. Just small files that you know just take so long. Again, it's just a patient waiting game. More or less, you know, does its job. So you know, when it drops down in speed like that, that's fine. That's just usually when it's copied a bunch of small files. Because the larger the file, the faster it copies because it's just one you no know, read and write operation. Just a little technical knowledge there for you. And obviously feel free to skip this part to where, you know, it's actually done. But I'll just keep talking till it gets done. We're almost at the 2000 mark now. We're about to hit it. And we've hit it. Okay. 
speed wants to get slower and slower and slower. And we are, we are almost there. Just about 800 far left to go. About 700. Oh, there was an error. Okay, so uh, the headset seems to have disconnected. That was a little problem on my part. It's reconnecting now. Did that fully copy over? I'm not too sure. What I would recommend, like, Keeping your headset on, like putting a thing, finger on there so it doesn't go into sort of like a sleep mode. I find that can annoy things. Okay, so let's try it again. If we go to XASH, I'll delete this, delete item, and I'll do it from here instead. So I'll show you this method copy and drag it onto there. And if we go to here, it's copying everything over. There we go. It is it is a little faster in this method, so uh, feel free to use that. And now do the same thing for gearbox as well. Copy that over. And there we go, that is done, that's a lot quicker. We can close this down, I'll, I'll, I'll minimize it just in case I need to check if it's still connected. So if I minimize that, and what you wanna do, you just go to your quest here. Go to, yeah. No folders are showing, that's strange. Oh, there we go. Doing very slow. I mean, forget that, I'll just do it this way. Let's go to XASH. We need to edit this command line.txt. We can't edit it here. So click save. Select just select location. I'm gonna pre on the desktop. Okay. Save to PC. Done. Minimize this. Open it up. And in here. You want to put, I'll open this, I've already got it here. So this is what you want to put in. XASH3D space dash dash super sampling space 1.25 space dash dash MSAA space 2 space dash dash CPU space 4 space dash dash GPU space 4 space dash game space gearbox. If you are... If you want to play blue shift you just change this to blue shift because we you you will launch up lambda one vr which will launch up what you want to you know launch basically so if we go to side quest b shift is for blue shift gearbox is for opposing force and valve is for half-life i would highly recommend one second let me just so you just put that command in the txt file which i've already got right there so, you know save it uh, and obviously that will open up gearbox i mean posing force and now what you want to do is just drag and drop this on here and there we go fantastic that's all done you're ready to play it but what i would highly recommend i've got a separate video cover in it but to install Lambda 1 VR launcher 
because that way in on your headset you can launch you know blue shift the original half-life you can launch you know half-life opposing force if you have it upgraded to hd you can launch the hd version the non-hd version i'll have a separate video covering how to set up you know hd for you know opposing force and blue shift feel free to check that out so now if i close this down and i open up chrome i've got this oculus here so let me put the headset on Go to sharing cast computer next. Okay, so you should start seeing the computer very soon. Get rid of this. Full screen now. So if I go to apps, the games will appear here. Go to unknown sources and you just scroll down. So you want Lambda 1 VR, like I said, if you have the launcher, fantastic, things will be a lot easier. But I'll just show you this method. If I open that up, it, let me read just that, it's automatically opened up Opposing Force, because that is what was configured. So, you know, you can go to configuration, change the audio, change some video options as well, which is pretty cool. You can, you know, change the controls, feel free to experiment with that. You can you know, mess around with some console stuff, but that's really it. Go to new game, choose your difficulty, and Half-Life Opposing Force will launch and we'll be in the helicopter. There we go, I can look around now, which is really cool. I've only got one hand because I've only got one controller connected. There's that guy there. I'm gonna quit out of that now. But that is it. Remember, you can just change that command in that text file to B Shift for Half Life Blue Shift. But I recommend that you use the Lambda One VR Launcher, which will save you a lot of time and effort. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. There will be a link in the description to the Discord group. In there, there'll be channels for Oculus and various other topics. So feel free to post there. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.